Uh, welcome back to DXB Today. We're indoors, we're outdoors, we're all over through every door at the moment because we're giving you something different to do uh, this coming weekend. And to that end, joining us now is a passionate entrepreneur who loves the media industry, loves doing bits and pieces. He's a successful businessman in his own right and an automotive enthusiast to, to beat as well. Please welcome the co-founder of the Social Pandora and Apex Detail uh, Studio. It is Gaurav Prakash. Gaurav, thank you. Which hat are you wearing thank today, you. Gaurav? <laughs> oh, a mix of both. A all bit of, of, yeah. of all of them together. As a business owner, you wear all together. You can bring all your passions to bear <laughs> on, on the DXB works. Today sofa. Great yeah. to have you with us here as well. Um, right, you are here to just give us a sort of heads. So the theme today is something a little bit different, yeah? Because as Nimi was saying, yeah, we all sort of get in our, set in our ways. We've got a favorite restaurant that we go to every Saturday. We've got our favorite sure. things we like to do every Sunday, etc. You're able to take a sort of a, 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 a wider look at the whole thing yes. as well. So give me something to do. Where am I going to start? Let's start indoors. Give me something to do indoors over the weekend. Sure. So I think if you're looking at some stuff which is going to be predominantly indoors, you know, you've got a lot of restaurants that are now opening up the outdoor sections where you go for a fine dine place. Uh, different from what you guys have to been doing, you know, the Time Out Market and all of these places are now coming out. And the beauty with this is while it's completely indoors, you know, they open up the section where you can actually have outdoor fresh air coming in, fresh stuff coming in, mm. as opposed to when you open the sun now, you know, it's just a blast of hot air and humidity coming through. That's going to change. So a lot of, you know, places are going to start coming up. We have a lot of things to do outdoors, indoor restaurant stuff, but then you do more of stuff outdoors as well. See, I like what you're so, doing there. You're giving me the, indo the indoors going outdoors and outdoors coming indoors exactly, at the same yeah. time. Look at that. Like, <laughs> beat that one, eh? <laughs> beat that one. Well, one thing that you were saying earlier as well, Tom, is just like, oh, we've seen everything and what's new? One thing I've never seen, tell us about the indoor cinema at Ski Dubai. Yes, that's, uh, that's a great stuff that's just coming in, yeah. Uh, you know, indoor cinema and Ski Dubai as a whole has been open like all around, right? People usually go there for summers, but winters you have lots of cool stuff that's going on there. What's really interesting also is, you know, if you want to try something which is kind of like, you know, I'm more of an outdoors person and more to do with like stuff that's outdoors. So for example, Dubai Safari Park just opened up. So you've got these huge loads of animals. They've got some really amazing safari experiences where they put you in the car and you go through these safaris and you're interacting with animals live. So, you know, it's, it's, it's like a safari experience that you'll probably never get anywhere else in Dubai. Uh, that's a great stuff that's going on outdoors as well. Uh, I like a lot of adventure. So I like mm. going out and doing a lot of stuff as well. So if you see, you know, Ski Dubai, the guys down at Ski Dubai, uh, you can actually take a gyrocopter and take a bird's eye view of the entire city. Now, gyrocopters are really cool because in a helicopter, you still have glass, you're still closed. Uh, in a gyrocopter, you're completely open. So you're just all around, you're taking a full bird's eye view of the city and you know, with the weather getting even better, it's an even better place for you to see and look and appreciate everything from a bird's eye point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, gyrocopters are also great because you know, skydive is the same place where you get to do skydiving and lots of other stuff that's going on in that particular area as well. Of course, not to forget the walks down JBR and all of that stuff as well, it's gonna be pretty good. William? Yeah, for me, I love going down to the beach this time yes. of year, like it's finally the time to do that. Like, are there certain activities that are located you know, closer to the water that you can really kind of take in that natural locale? Uh, yes, you could go jet skiing. Uh, the yacht season is going to be coming out. A lot of private yachts are going to be lining up over there as well. Uh, do you know? I think one of the pe thing that people always forget is you need to be careful of all the scams that happens around, especially with the jet ski rentals and the yachts that goes around. So read the terms and conditions really well when you're going <laughs> for one of these things. But yachts are a great way to explore the waters. You know, go a little bit out of shore you can see some really interesting stuff that's going out over there as well. So that's cool stuff. Is everything really, 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 really expensive? Yeah. <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, if you, if you think of the stuff that you're getting for what you're paying, it's like a pretty decent balance. I don't think it's really expensive. Mm. Uh, let's not forget that these things are very regulated. There are a lot of safety protocols, a lot of things that go into maintaining all of that stuff, which costs money. So if you look at the ROI of, you know, I'm a business guy, I always talk ROI. But if you look at the ROI for the experience that you're spending, you get a lot for that, you know things are going to be safe there. Safety is predominantly the most important thing that happens over here. So you wouldn't risk not going on a gyrocopter thinking that, oh, it's not going to be safe. You know, here in the UAE, everything has to be secured. So cost-wise, I do think that it's very, very sad. It's not too expensive. If you compare it to other places in the world like Europe and you know, Asia and all of these places, costs there are skyrocketing for very basic experiences. We're talking about expense, is there anything for free? Or? Uh, nothing in the world's free, my friend, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think a good walk down the beach, but I will tell you what is great, uh, you know, a lot of things as the guest before was also talking about outdoors in the UAE as well. 
Uh, I love exploring the UAE. I like going to wadis. I like going to all of these places. I actually found a hidden windmill in the middle of the UAE. No There's just one wind windmill that's just doing its thing, and it's somewhere in one of these wadis. I have the location pin. You're just driving around the wadis and you see something like this which you've never seen in the UAE, and you're just like, wow. And it's such a beautiful place. You can literally go to the foot of the windmill. And you know, when the blades spin, they make this huge sound of air just whooshing past you. It's an amazing experience. That sounds good. Uh, experience some of that stuff in Europe, but here in the UAE, that was a very nice find mm. as well. So See, lots that's, of that's cheap, that's free. That's free, just <laughs> like a drive, drive down, down there and yeah. chill out. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. yeah so, okay, so we've explored the, the great outdoors, you know, yeah. the, the adrenaline junkies. Um, yes. What about the arts and the culture side of things? Uh, lots of stuff going on from arts and culture. I think Al Sarkal Avenue has a lot of stuff that's going on over mm -hmm. there. Uh, they've always been promoting arts arts and stuff and what I really like about them is how inclusive they are. They have, you know, people from all form of arts, all form of arts is welcomed over there. So pretty you can good. come back. We like you. I'm gonna look at the website and we're, we're and, and social medias and we'll keep up to date. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank Cheers, you. man. Thank you. So Nimi, it's over to you, Han. I think we need to speak to our guest co-host a little bit more because he's just looking here, well-dressed, like I've yeah. never seen him before. He's looking a bit too comfortable, to be <laughs> honest. And we need to put him on the spot. This is DXV in 60. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Get to know you more a bit, William, if that's okay with you. Sure. Uh, in three, two, one. Uh, what was your first job? My first job? I was actually a teacher when I moved here. I can see that. In 2009. Um, what, what is your motto in life and in work? My motto in life? Always be growing. I always have to be moving forward. Mm. What is your favorite travel destination? London, honestly. I just want to go see some plays and eat some food and explore and see history. I don't think I hear anyone say that anymore. Uh, what is your favorite celebrity interview that you have ever done? Hmm, oh. you can probably pick one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I think Jake Gyllenhaal, because he's hard to get to open up. And there's one time I just managed to break through. The next time, no, he was back close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One time that I'll always feel proud of. I love that. Um, what is your favorite movie or favorite series? Mad Men and Twin Peaks. Those are my two favorite series. But favorite movie, I think Persona, Ingmar Bergman, 1960. It's a bit off the, the beaten uh -huh. path, but that movie sticks with me. I like that. And what book uh, changed your life or affected you deeply? I think The Woman in the Dunes, Kobo Abe. It's a Japanese book just about someone who's kind of stuck in this world where they're constantly just doing the same thing over and over again. I think it's a book about breaking out. I, mean, that, I think that's kind of what made me want to continue moving forward. I love that. And last, uh, why Dubai? Why Dubai? Because this is the International Space Station. Everyone in the world is here. Mm. I love that about it. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much for that. I feel like I, I know William now. Thank you, <laughs> William, for joining us. Nicer, don't we? Yeah. 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 Um, well, thank you very much indeed to both of our Culture Vultures for joining us uh, here uh, this evening. William, thanks for guest co-hosting with us yet again today. Good to see you. Enjoy the season. I will, I will. It's a busy season. It's happening. Yeah. Busy coming. And Guru, thanks very much indeed for bringing the Kendora into Our us today. Our pleasure. Much appreciate your time. These guys are going to go and enjoy the delights of the green room. You're going to stick around with us. Why? Because we have got a catch-up with an acclaimed artist. Leger plays us out next. Stay with us.